got a great video for you today on how to have fun cruising. That's right, the Celebrity Beyond, an absolutely awesome ship, one of our very favorite ships. If you haven't, definitely subscribe to the channel, check out our Facebook, Instagram page, our website, howtohavefuncruising.com, but we've got a great video for you today. That's right, folks, behind the scenes, we're going to go inside the ship. That's right, where the passengers normally do not go. You're going to get to see a little bit of everything from the laundry room to the galley to the storage areas to you name it the bridge and the control room you're going to get to see it all you definitely want to check it out also check out our sister channel how to have fun fishing how about our new channel how to have fun camping that one's awesome with campground reviews all over the country and rv reviews you're going to definitely want to watch that out watch that and how about our how to have fun outdoors the mothership seven million views in just a little over two years adventure travel all over the world, including Africa, Iceland, Europe, Asia, you name it, we've got it. But today, it's all about the Celebrity Beyond and the behind-the-scenes ship tour. That's right, folks. We got it in 4K. We videoed the whole thing, and we started off, that's right, with an introduction, all the rules, paperwork. You don't have to worry about that. And then they took us right into the Cypress restaurant, right back to the galley, and you're going to love this. Take a listen and check out the galley. So as we got into the galley, we, in each department for that matter, we got to meet the person managing and supervising that area. In this particular area, he told us start to finish how the meals are prepared, how many meals, lots of great information. When waiters come in the galley, they know that I can take from here, sit from there, sit from here, and food. You can pay many or the food. Only the meat, fresh vegetables or fish, we can eliminate. But the figure, we can see how many salmon they have, order, how many. The galley on the ship is absolutely impressive. The amount of food that gets pushed through this facility is remarkable. This particular galley only actually supports four different restaurants. There's other galleys for the other restaurants, but as you can see, here's the bakery area, and believe it or not, this is where all of the croissants and all of the focaccia and all of the other cool stuff that uh, gets baked and delivered, including the cakes and things of that nature. But take a look at the desserts, folks. Absolutely awesome. And these are uh, just a little bit of what goes on. Uh, obviously, they're constantly kicking out different desserts, different bakery items, and uh, it's pretty cool, including the cookies uh, to all the different room service. Um, obviously, coffee's a big deal too, right? So tons of coffee. Uh, big purification system for the water and uh, they go through all the details in the tour uh, this is the control room of the galley and let's look at some more So now that you've seen the galley, the big question is, where do they store all this food? It's absolutely amazing the amount of food that's stored, and we're going to show you that now along with the liquor. Very small, Sarah. Hello. Separation for everything. So, and also the temperatures 
and the first day of the cruise. <laughs> Okay, you're definitely going to want to check this out. We go inside these different storage areas and we get to see literally everything. The liquor, all the food, the vegetables, you name it. You're going to get to see it all next. It is pretty awesome, to be honest. Uh, definitely check this out. Here you go. frozen meat, frozen fish, and so on. Uh, every time we look between 15 and 18 trucks, we did it in around five hours, between five and six hours. So we ran like a chicken, actually, yeah, to keep all the stores full, uh, full with the food and beverage. We have behind you is one of our stores. This one is a dry, this one for fruit and vegetable. Oh, 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 oh. Can feel free to go inside. Wow. Go inside, please. Just tell us where the crab legs are. That's what we want to know. Yeah, good luck. Oh, look at that size. Look at all the food. You got to start eating more. Oh yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Tomatoes. Okay. <laughs> how many how many boxes do we get to bring out? Whatever you can Well, as you can see, they've got duck horn, they've got silver oak, they've got all kinds of great wines, great whiskeys, great everything. How about that? Some Mandavi, some great Grey Goose vodka. They got it all. And here's the breakdown of the map of all the different areas on that particular level. It was super cool to go and visit this on deck two, and we enjoyed it. It's for all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've seen where they store all the food, where they cook all the food, what do they do with all the waste on the ship? I mean, there's a ton of people, obviously, and a ton of waste. Well, we got to see that area also. So we're going to walk you through that now, how they handle the plastic, the metal, um, all of the uh, cardboard, you name it. It's all done right here. We don't have time to go through the full presentation, but it was pretty cool overall. So 
so we've done this tour on some of the other ships, including the Celebrity Equinox, but this area actually looks the same on most of the ships. They have all this really unique equipment designed for the recycling, compacting, and separation. So that's pretty much how it works. It all goes into these uh, different pieces of equipment and actually gets compacted down so it gets disposed. So we continue down to the bottom of the ship and into the different areas. We're going to show you the engine control room in a minute. Uh, but before we do that, we want to show you what they call I-95, which is the main corridor through the ship on each floor below the uh, decks for all the guests. And as you can see here, lots going on. These are actually the luggage racks for all of the luggage that gets brought on board. And they've got these maps all over so pretty cool that's how it's set up and uh, what we're going to show you next is the area for all the employees not only their notification boards but also where they eat so we'll get a quick glimpse of that we're not allowed to go in there but wait till later in the video uh, we did get to see where the crew actually does their laundry which is not part of the normal uh, tour so uh, we got to see that by mistake so you'll get to see it in this video but uh, overall this is pretty awesome and we're gonna head up to the bridge now where you're gonna get to check out that's right the bridge you know all these wow. very good huh yeah. So there were two parts of the ship where they did not allow video, and that was up on the bridge uh, where the captain is and down in the engine control room. This is the same on the other cruise ship tours where we did behind the scene tours. So uh, for whatever reason, they don't want video in there. However, we did capture a lot of photos for you so you can get a feel for it. Uh, we've also cut these down to two seconds a piece, so uh, you're not bored with it. However, this does give you a nice overview of the bridge, and quite honestly, very modern, lots of new equipment, a uh, real friendly crew up front, and they took a lot of time with us during this to actually walk through, show us all the different parts of all the navigation equipment, uh, how they uh, control the ship, uh, the side thrusters, the amount of depth they can go in, uh, how they, um, you know, just, it, it was very, very detailed and excellent. If you have any type of background with the Navy or shipping or any of this, you would find this absolutely awesome. I mean, it is uh, a great part of the tour and uh, it was great to hear all the questions and you know, we covered everything, knots, uh, you know, uh, waves, uh, the depths, uh, you know, how fast she could turn, you name it, it was covered. So they did a great job. Uh, but let's head on to the rest of the inside, behind the scene tour now. Next up, the laundry area, and boy oh boy is this a big part of the inside the scenes tour on these ships. I mean, there is so much laundry equipment. It is remarkable, and the amount of laundry that is done on a ship is absolutely stunning. And when you see the equipment and everything else, I think you'll be amazed. Check this out. You know, like Millennium or Constellation or Reflection, Solstice, they don't have linen shoot like this. But here in Celebrity Bien, uh, all the linens they drop only in this area. Then, mm -hmm. But in the other ship, they bring by the deck runner manually in the laundry. But here they drop only this. I have a monitor here. For example, uh, this is my monitor here, they have a each deck. For example, they open on deck 6, they will show they have a red light. Then after that one, uh, they can drop only one at a time for the, for the safety purpose. Not only are these big machines, but they're very efficient and very fast. Take a listen to this. Every three minutes, now the washing machine will ask me load, then that one they will drop on the washing machine. Then, then that is my monitor. This is my monitor here, the first one prior. 
that is the dryer, one person they can install inside. The maximum uh, load of this dryer is 90 kilos. Then we can pass. Then I have here this three really big washing machine. All the guest clothes we use for food, for the food, we want this. Then for the wife, we use uh, 60 to 70 kilos. But the, the another towel, the Celebrity X, we use 290. <coughs> then the next one, all the bed sheet, duvet, pillowcase, tablecloth, and um, napkin, we press in this machine. All the linens, when we put here, is still wet, but when they go at the back, that is pressed and folded. And after that one, they will go in here. inside uh, when you send your clothes uh, maybe you, you find they have a tag on the collar this is the machine we use for the tagging for example we will type on the very stable number and we will press enter then I will put the tag here for the sleep because some of the guests and crew they don't like they have a line here that's why we use this one to make it circle
Then four at the back. I have a clip. Then press. But when uh, when you send your clothes, uh, all the one who check one by one the guest laundry and also. Up next is where the crew actually does their laundry. It's open 24 hours. It's not normally part of the tour, but we got to see it, and you're gonna get to see it now. But if they want to send their clothes in the main laundry, uh, that is uh, for the for uh, wash and press also. But here in Finland, uh, it's very long. And I do that as well. Then we have here this uh, watertight door. This is the heaviest uh, watertight uh, door in here in the Celebrity Bia. Okay, we're not done. So up next, that's right, folks, the engine control room where all the action happens. Uh, we're going to show you that. And uh, again, you got to see this in real life because so many of the things are talked about, how the engines work, how many engines and all that good stuff. Once again, video's not allowed, but we're going to take you there now and you're going to get to check out the famous engine room. The engine room was absolutely awesome. Really one of the coolest parts of the ship. I mean, you get to see all the control systems for all the different parts of the ship. Everything is controlled from the engine room. It is really remarkable. They have all the security cameras, all the engine monitoring equipment, everything in there, and they went through all of it with us. It was absolutely awesome, and they did a great job. So overall, we hope you loved this video from How to Have Fun Cruising. Definitely subscribe, comment down below, and thank you so much for watching How to Have Fun Cruising.